channel so hi 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 <laughs> sorry guys i missed you a lot i've been away i know but hey ho there'll be kind of quick update coming very soon anyway what's going on and all that stuff so if you're new to my channel hi i'm replain i'm one of the beauty influencer i do a lot of makeup videos product reviews all that other jazz but without the drama <laughs> um, so in today's video I'm going to give you my Eid special look so yeah this is going to be a very super easy Eid glam so if you want to see how to create this look just carry on watching this video and before you leave don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so every time I'm posting a video you will get a notification and thank you so much for watching love you guys take care hey my angels so here we go uh, so for this look we are starting with the primer uh, if my voice sounds a little weird just excuse me I'm still not totally feeling good um, anyway primer I use the Dominic cosmetic and El Maquillage primer uh, for foundation I'm mixing my Dior um, face and body with Maybelline uh, matte finish uh, all the shades will be mentioned in the description box below and I'm just applying this all over my face using my damp beauty blender for this particular look I wanted my skin to look um, dewy but not too dewy because it's so freaking hot where I am right now it's just like while I was doing the makeup it was getting like all over the place so I just that's why I chose the matte foundations and everything because I tend to get a little oily when I'm sweating so for my concealers I have used uh, Josie Moran's Vibrancy Argan Oil Concealer for my dark circles and for to brighten I'm using Tarte Cosmetics new um, Hydro Concealer mixed with Al Maquillage um, I am flawless um, full coverage concealer I mix the Tarte and Al Maquillage because the Tarte one is very close to my skin tone and the Al Maquillage will is a bit a little like little on a lighter side so but mixing those two together worked really really well to set my full face i'm using charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless finish powder this is my favorite favorite powder now because it is super lightweight it gives you a very flawless finish without looking cakey um for my eyes i'm taking the juvia's place eyeshadow palette um i'm picking up the nude shade which is like a bone shade and i'm applying this all over my eyelids so this is going to be kind of like the main color on all of my eyes and I'm using another bone shade to just give my eyes a little bit of a transition um, now I'm picking up the shimmer shade from the uh, first Juvia's Palace is it palette or place Juvia's Place <laughs> palette and I just picked that up and I'm just packing that quite a bit now I picked up the um, coral shade from the other Juvia's Place palette and I will write down the both palettes in the description box below and I've just applied that on the outer part of my eye and also the lower lash line it's all it just it's a really nice corally peachy shade which gave me a really nice really like smooth very summery very like sunset kind of vibes uh, from the dark uh, from the same palette I picked up the dark brown shade and I'm using that to create a wing I just wanted a eyeliner or I just wanted a wing without putting the liquid liner or anything I just wanted more of like a um, soft kind of wing so that's why I chose the eyeshadow for my waterline I've used essence nude um, eye pencil and for my mascara I'm using essence um, I think this is I am something bothered not mascara <laughs> I'm setting my face I actually set my face throughout the whole th process quite a few times um, when it's super duper hard it's a t it's a tip you can use for my um, lipstick I've used Ofra cosmetic liquid lipstick in shade which will be mentioned in the description box below so this is a very quick easy eat makeup tip from me hope you guys enjoyed it See you guys next time. Love you all.